Hi, this is Alan with frontendaudio.com, and today we're here with the Rupert Need Designs 5042 Portico Series line driver and tape emulator. Um, essentially, this is going to emulate the sound of mixing to analog tape, or you can track uh, individually um, uh, a couple of channels directly through this. Um, let's go over some of the features of this uh, unit. Uh, basically, you have your input trim here, which um, also is going to be a little bit, and it's going to tie in uh, with the saturation. Um, you basically kind of have to find your, your balance between the two. And kind of what I found uh, here, I left my, my settings that I found for the mix I was working on uh, with it um, here for uh, you to basically take a guide off of. Um, essentially, you have a tape and gauge switch on the bottom of each side, um, as well as the bus A and bus B features that um, if you want to tie this into the 5088 console. Um, uh, basically, you also have the selection of the meter input and the uh, uh, meter the tape. Um, and also, another feature which is really interesting to this is uh, the 7.5 uh, inches per second or IPS uh, selection versus the 15 IPS selection. Uh, someone would say, look, there's no tape at all. Where's, why are we worried about tape speed? Um, essentially, this is a unique piece of gear in the fact that it actually is tape head circuitry. If you have experience with analog tape machines in the past, um, you know that the, uh, the sonic characteristics of 7.5 versus 15 amps will be that with 7.5, you're gonna have um, maybe a little less top frequency clarity, um, but you're also gonna gain a lot more low frequency uh, as a result of the, the, the tape domains basically being saturated with low frequency uh, information. Um, and the EQ curve across the um, uh, across your mix, uh, across whatever element is being recorded, uh, is then going to be affected as well. Um, what's happening here? You'll notice there's no tape of any kind here, but there is actual tape head circuitry inside of this box uh, for each side. Uh, essentially, it sports um, two transformer um, uh, coupled in and out puts. Uh, to this device. I mean, they're identical line driver circuits for both sides. Uh, but then there's also an actual tape head circuitry where you have a um, essentially a, a tiny tape head uh, that's directly coupled uh, to a uh, correctly equalized replay amplifier. Um, and so basically you're getting through that combination of the, uh, of the tape head circuitry, uh, the transformers, uh, you're basically approximating the sound of tape. Uh, having spent a number of years with uh, working on uh, Studer A80 tape decks and um, mixing to those, um, essentially I was I was pretty blown away by the the accuracy of the sound of this device, and uh, we can really expect no less uh, from Rupert Neve Designs. Uh, they've consistently provided great sounding uh, equipment that we can all really benefit from. One of the things I really love about this piece of gear is that. Um, for someone like myself who is not a big user of bus compression, um, I can rely on um, the sonic ca characteristics of tape essentially to help tighten up the mix. And what I mean by that is a lot of like, VCA-based um, uh, mix bus compressors can, can tend to be very grabby on something, whereas if you've taken a lot of care to compress the various elements throughout your mix, um, that basically, starting to try and get some of the little flyaway things like a, uh, the snare drum that's just kind of poking out, um, some of the transients there and so forth. Um, bus compression can be heavy handed on that. It's gonna start grabbing things um, and, or can start grabbing things um, that you really don't want it to affect so much. Um, the beautiful part about this is that it's gonna take those transients uh, just like tape does and essentially just take that little poke off of the uh, snare drum and just shove it right back down into itself. Um, so you can see how it can be a very useful thing. Um, again, it does cover a, 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 a kind of a wide swath of like an EQ curve that goes across the mix um, and is kind of the secret weapon for glue. Um, it's a great antidote to the sterility that we find in, in digital recording. Um, and frankly, after spending a little bit of time with this, I don't ever wanna do a mix without it again. So uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to take this one home with me. For more information on the Rupert Neve Designs 5042 tape emulator, check us out online at frontinaudio.com. Thanks.